What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're taking a look at some Garcia style blues in the form of That's What Love Will Make You Do. So let's go. Cool. So like today's video title mentions, today's video is all about what we can call some Garcia blues. Very much in the style of that's what love will make you do from Garcia's second studio album. We'll take a look at how the song is built with that classic riff, a couple ways we can approach it, and finally some cool solo ideas we can incorporate so that we can jam ourselves with it and have a full song. So let's go. So when we listen to this recording, right, we hear it as the key of C sharp, C sharp blues. <laughs> And it is a fairly standard 1-4-5 progression. But what separates it is the undeniable bass groove that is beneath Garcia's lead playing. And that goes something like this. One, four, five, but with that, really what it is, like a major triad, but ending on a flat seven degree. But because C sharp is a very unfamiliar scale to, I'm sure a lot of us, myself included, I never play in C sharp. <laughs> we're going to transpose this down to the key of B flat. So now we have B flat blues. <laughs> Our one chord being B flat, obviously. Four chord, E flat, five chord, F, back to our one chord. Very straightforward. So now let's dive into the actual groove and how we can approach it. So focusing now on the riff and the groove, the essential, I guess, skeleton of this song, like mentioned before, is we're taking a major triad, spelling it out, and finishing on the flat seven degree, which kind of creates that minor pentatonic blues tension, right? So if we have our one chord, this B flat, root, hammer onto the major third, which is D, five, six, being F, G, again, land on root, octave, finish it off, flat seven degree. A flat. Right? It's four chord. Exact same idea. Root, hammer on, to the major third which in this case would be a G natural for the E flat, 
five, six, right? B flat, C, root, flat seven. Back to one. Five chord. Same ideas. And what I do, just to keep that groove going, is I do this. Bum, boom. That's enough, I guess, riffage to fill up a good amount of space when you're jamming with somebody or you're jamming by yourself. Now let's check out two other different ways we can approach the same riff. So now let's look at these triads in a different shape. Right? We have our B flat, E flat, F. Right? Pretty standard. This voicing of this riff won't have as much low end as that, right? clearer especially these four the five chords right these are triads we should all know by now the groove when you practice it keep that bounce going and when you have that settled then we can approach how can we look at this as a solo guitar idea right still maintaining the bounce and the groove and the chord changes but have a solo that also outlines these changes so check this out. Thank you. 
as you can see there, the groove is still there. I'm just doing it an octave higher, right? <laughs> And slowly incorporating some B flat blues, you know? There I'm outlining the fourth chord. Back to one. Five chord. Act one. Second time, I'm going more BB King. Four chord. Back to one. Goes five. It's the flat seven of the five chord. looks harder than it actually is, but in retrospect, it's just B-flat blues, right? Nothing more difficult than just... That's what Tomo does to end his B-flat blues. <laughs> but again, work on the groove. Boom, 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 boom. Practice, 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 and have fun practicing. Well, all right, guys. That is today's video. Some Garcia-style blues in the form of That's What Love Will Make You Do. Remember, a song like this, it's all about the groove. Keep that bounce. Keep that riff going. And in between, 
you can add in some of your lead lines, right? And create a nice solo that is simple, very minor pentatonic, but that still outlines the changes, right? So again, if you were taking out of the mix just your solo, you would still hear the one, four, five chord progression, as well as the groove, boom, ba da ba da bum bum, right? <laughs> so with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.